Why is the phase reversed in some tube preamps? That is an often asked question, and it comes from Dale Clark in Bexley, Ohio. And Dale writes to me, Hello, Paul. I understand that some tube preamps have the phase reversed, thus the need to switch the black and the red speaker terminals on the amplifier that the preamp is feeding. The preamp I had before I purchased my BHK pre, yes, 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 good one, <laughs> is a Rogue RP5, and it had the phase reversed where the BHK Pre does not. Um, the manufacturer, if anything, couldn't, uh, couldn't they just swap the internal plus and minus speaker terminal wiring without adding some costly components and avoiding any confusion to the customers? Well, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, on a preamp, you can't just swap something and make the phase different. So you're kind of stuck with it. You either have a non-inverting preamp or you have an inverting preamp. So, uh, and then on a power amplifier, yeah, you could if it was just that simple. If it was a balanced output, you could just flop them around. But I don't think that's actually what you're asking. So let's, let's just find out for the moment why a tube preamp or, or a solid state preamp, and any preamp would be inverting or non-inverting, okay? So by inverting, we mean that we're talking about the, the phase, right? Okay, so many tube preamps, especially a lot of the older ones, um, how do you draw a tube? I haven't drawn a tube in a while. Something like this, I don't know. Uh, let's just do it with a, because I forgot how to even draw a tube. See, get, don't get old because you forget to do all kinds of stuff. It's something like this. <laughs> I'm much more comfortable with transistors, which I have designed for years. Okay, it, it's, all, it's all the same. Seriously, it's all the same. Here, here's the reason. Let's just do a transistor, because Paul's more comfortable doing that. Okay, here's our, this could be a tube or a transistor, or a FET, you know, whatever. Uh, a FET, we just draw straight lines out here. Okay, so let's just draw it this way, and a big plus up here, right? And this is, so here's where our signal comes in. Okay. If we have a single stage amplification circuit, like this, one stage, that stage will always be inverting. And here's why. If we remember what's going on, a positive voltage, this, okay, turns this input on and current begins to flow. So as this goes up, current starts to flow. And as we draw current across the resistor, what, it's not a very good looking resistor here, is it? <laughs> when, we, when we draw current across a resistor, what happens? We get a voltage drop. So the voltage, which if, if, you, if you had, if, if this was connected to nothing, the voltage here, which is our output, is the same as the voltage here, right? This is our high volts. This is uh, 30 volts. Okay, so it's 30 volts here and it's 30 volts here. As soon as we start, as we turn this transistor or this tube on with our incoming signal, we start drawing current through this valve and now we have a drop across this resistor. So what happens here? This is now lower. So this is going this way, out of phase, right? Because what comes out of here is now going in this direction. So it is out of phase. And in this typical amplifier circuit, depending on the size of this resistor, if it's a really big resistor, then a very little change here makes a lot of change over here. That's an amplifier, right? Does that make sense? If we have a 100K resistor, big resistor, and we make a little bit of change here, current starts to flow through. Well, if you put current through a 100K resistor, you know, what starts out as 30 quickly drops down to two volts. And it just took a little bit over here, and that makes for an amplifier. Typically, that might be 10K or something. Now, how do we make a non-inverting amplifier? Well, if we have two circuits, two amplifiers, we reverse the trend. And this is all we do.
we take another one, typically here for reasons that I won't go into right now, um, we put the transistor upside down because of the way this sits. It sits up like this, which anyway, it's for biasing. Just trust me, it's, that's the way it works. So now, when we go up like this, this goes down like that. When this goes down, it does the opposite, and it goes back up. So this being positive, that's positive. And that's a non-inverting amplifier. And if we just have one, it's an inverting amplifier. So if you look inside of your preamp and you see you have one tube, um, then you probably have an inverting amplifier. The only, now I'll give you one other thing here. Sometimes we look in these preamps and we see two tubes, okay? Because tubes are easier to see than transistors. Well, that's because it probably has a cathode follower at the output, which if this was a transistor, would just be a buffer, okay? So still inverting, here's our, here's our gain sage and it goes into this, which now allows us to drive a low impedance load, drive a cable, but it's still inverting. This, because see, it's off the emitter here. When we go off the emitter, it does the same thing as the, in, as the base, just gives you more current. If we do it off the collector, um, then the, uh, the current that flows through is, is becoming a, um, uh, an amplifier. I think we're getting too complicated, but that's what, that's the answer to your question. Okay. All righty. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later. Bye.